so my introduction uh, to drugs came around the age of 13. I started off, you know, smoking weed with the friends, uh, drinking alcohol on the weekends after the big football games. And uh, quite swiftly and progressively, you know, I, I went to stronger substances, uh, harder, harder drugs. Um, within a matter of four years, so around age 17, 18, I, uh, I, I progressed to pre prescription painkillers. And uh, at that time, you know, I was in full-blown addict mode. I, I lost uh, family, I lost countless friends to overdoses, and uh, ultimately I lost the ability to be a father to my son. And that was a big turning point in my life. I decided, you know, I might have an issue and I might want to seek out some help. So after I made that decision uh, to seek help and better myself, it took me to some dark places. I moved from state to state. Um, I experienced, this, you know, complete isolation. I, I didn't get it my first time. It took me multiple times to get it right. Um, I've been homeless. I've been, uh, I've overdosed in and out of hospitals. Uh, but it wasn't until I made the decision to come to California and come ultimately come to Wavelengths that my life significantly improved. David and his buddy got here, and they were in. They were both in really, really shape it was a, it was a thing where they came in and I and I um, and I and I just said okay this is gonna be a difficult situation David was really defeated when he came in here was he was very depressed um, I don't think that he thought he could stay sober David being um, being a really good-hearted person was like was evident though I, I just don't think that he uh, that he had the, the belief that he could do something different or overcome the, overcome the addiction. But as it moved on, um, you know, I could tell that David was, uh, David was an easy person to talk to. So I started having him talk to people that were in detox. Um, and the more he did that, the, the better off he seemed. He was so kind about helping other people. Um, and then I remember uh, early on, he lost a couple of friends to overdose. And it, and it, it, it hit him really hard and, and, and he really crumbled behind both of those deaths. And, and I you know, encouraged him that this is why you have to continue to help people because he just felt a, a sense of hopelessness, I think, to losing close friends like that. You know, and, and we sat and I explained to him that, you know, believe it or not, you could be the person who prevents that from happening to somebody else. Uh, and and you, you could make a difference. And he started to believe it the more he, the more he applied himself to helping other people. Um, so for me, you know, I, I didn't know this prior to coming here, but I have a, a genuine passion and a genuine love for helping others, um, specifically others who have walked through addiction as I have. He asked me one day, what would I have to do to work in a place like this? And I, and I said, it's not as difficult as you think, David. Do everything that you can get your hands on and apply yourself to everything you can apply yourself to and, and, and make it so that we have no choice but to hire you. And I just kept hearing about David's helping this person, David's helping that person. He's helping us do this or he's helping us do that. And what, the way that it ended up a few months later was that he gave me no choice except to hire him. When I was presented with the opportunity to work here at Wavelengths, I integrated right in and it, you know, it fit perfect for what I was wanting to do. And I get to wake up every day knowing that I go to a job where I make a difference. Installing the idea that, that he could actually change somebody's life or be a part of changing somebody's life. That was his passion. The best thing that Wavelengths has done for me, you know, you know today I've got my family back in my life. Uh, I have a newborn daughter, you know, I'm, I've reconnected with my children. Um, I have my own place, I have my own car. I get to wake up and go do something I love to do. This is my passion. And, and you know, Wavelengths has done this for me. The thing that makes me the most proud of David is, is that he's found selflessness. He's all about pumping people up uh, uh, in terms of you, you're worth more, you can do more, you can succeed. 
he's a giver. And, and, and he's always there when somebody wants to talk to him. There's, there's no doubt in my mind Wavelengths was the turning point of me staying clean and sober, getting clean and sober. And without Wavelengths, I don't know where I would be today.